Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Cancer, this is your weekly March 15th through the March 21st tarot reading. Let's talk about your work or your business situation first. We've got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands and the Lovers. You could be dealing with a water sign, another Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or a Gemini. I think um, you'll have uh, a choice to make this week. Um, the two pages right here, I think you have two different offers coming your way. This could be offers to start a new business, to start a new job or to start a new project within uh, your existing work situation within your business. If you run your own business, it could be a, a partnership offer from two different people or from two different organizations. And uh, you will have to make a decision. You'll have to make a choice and uh, figure out which offer you want to go with. Well, two offers are better than no offers, right? Um, so this looks pretty good. So take your time, contemplate and make a decision. Cancer, if you're in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Ten of Swords clarified by the Nine of Wands. We also have the Chariot and the Six of Pentacles. Then we also have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Cancer. Um, I think the Chariot in the spread is you and something must have ended between you and your partner. Perhaps the two of you broke up and uh, now you're in your own separate corners. We've got the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody walking away and the Ten of Swords clarified by the Nine of Wands. This is an abrupt and sudden ending and uh, whoever was on the uh, on the defense is going to continue to be on the defense this week. We've got the uh, Nine of Wands clarifying the Ten of Swords. This is a card of a wounded warrior, someone who doesn't really want to uh, get back into whatever unfulfilling situation they were in. And there's also regret. Um, there's also equal give and take, but perhaps this is you trying to figure out how you're going to split the assets if uh, separation did occur. So unfortunately, I don't have any good news for you this week, but I'm not, I wasn't going to sugarcoat it for you. I always give you what I see and interpret the way I think it is to be interpreted. So there was some kind of a separation that happened between you and your person, and now you're just in this kind of state of mind where you don't really want to deal with, it, with that person unless there is a question about finances that has to be decided. Cancer, if you're in a quest for new love, this part is for you. We've got Justice, the Lovers, the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. This is an interesting spread because we do have the Lovers card here. This could be a twin flame or soulmate uh, situation or you could be dealing with a Gemini but at the same time we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups two fives. One of them is about regrets and the other one is about getting into a fight, getting into some kind of an argument or it could be a competition. We also have the justice card. This could be a Libra you're dealing with but um, if you do meet a new person this week it could be at a courthouse or some kind of a government organization and like I said this could be a Gemini or you will have some kind of a choice to make whether you want to fight for this connection or just let it be. So that's an interesting spread like I said but uh, justice will prevail at the end of the at the end of the week. 
and I hope uh, you don't get into too much of a conflict over this person or with this new person. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. We've got Judgment, the Six of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I really like when uh, certain cards come out when you ask certain questions. So Judgment, in this case, is a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past. It could be something that's being resurrected, brought back to life, revived right we also have the six of pentacles so perhaps when this person when this particular ex makes an offer to reconcile with you they'll tell you oh it'll be different this time it'll be an equal give and take and they will want to heal the situation with you the temperance card is is there is either a sagittarius you're dealing with or like i said this is uh healing this is uh, getting back together you know trying to uh, act calm towards each other and the uh, cherry on the top of the cake is the ace of cups this is an offer of love and it doesn't get any better than the ace of cups when it comes to new love offers or reconciliation offers in this case so this looks amazing guys if you think that there is still something there for you with this particular ex I suggest that you uh, give them the green light and uh, reboot this relationship because I only see positive cards. I don't see anything negative. I don't see anybody trying to deceive you or do anything to harm you. So these are great cards. Uh, go for it. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Cancer, this week. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. We also have Justice and the Magician. We have two tens and two major arcana cards. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra. So I think some kind of a burden is coming to an abrupt end this week. And you've been uh, actively manifesting for it, but uh, it, ju it just wasn't coming through for you. But this week, it will eventually come to an abrupt end. Uh, it could be related to a legal system. You could be uh, suing somebody or it could be related to some kind of paperwork at the government or organization and you've been trying to push this through and finally this week it will uh, all uh, be taken care of uh, it's coming to an end this was a burden for you and you will finally be relieved of it and this will be your surprise of the week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period i hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.